This is how you set the coil air gap on a riding lawnmower's ignition coil. This air gap between the flywheel magnets and the coil has to be a certain, there has to be a certain air gap in there or else it won't run right. Now the specification for this motor is 10 thousandths to 14 thousandths of an inch. And you need to look up the specification for your motor anywhere online if you don't have the paper manual. It has to be just right. You can't just guess at this. Some people use a business card and stick it in there, but I wouldn't do that. This is much more accurate to do it this way. You get feeler gauges and you loosen these bolts up right here. They're normally like an eight millimeter or something. Loosen up both sides of them and insert your feeler gauge in the air gap. Now make sure you rotate the flywheel so that the thickest part where the magnet is is on both sides of the ignition coil. It's kind of difficult to see, but you can see right here, it's bigger. It's like that on both sides. Now take your feeler gauge and insert it into the air gap, making sure that it's perfectly in there. Push the ignition coil up against the feeler gauge and then tighten down your bolt and repeat this for the other side. Now once you get your gap set, tighten these two bolts up and rotate the flywheel by hand to ensure that it doesn't contact the flywheel at any point and you can see the gap's still good now we'll go all the way back around and I've already checked this but get your feeler gauges and come in here and make sure that the highest this is set to ten thousandths to fourteen thousandths Make sure your 15 thousandths won't go in there, but your 14 will. And, I've set, and do the same on this side. 15 thousandths wouldn't go in here, but 14 thousandths did. And my 12 thousandths, which was right in the middle of 10 thousandths and 14 thousandths, slides beautifully on both sides. So that's how you do it. Make sure you get these tight, but don't strip them. Make sure they're tight because you don't want it to contact the flywheel and destroy stuff. So This will really help keep your motor running good because a lot of guys don't check this. But, I mean, it's easy. It takes like 10 minutes. But once you get it set, it should be good. It doesn't normally move that often. But that's how you do it. Thanks. Like and subscribe if this helped you all out. Later.